So you like Vinland okay. Saga? I love Vinland Saga. Yeah, Vinland Saga is incredible. Amazing. We yes. talked. You did an interview with the yes. with the author of it. Yeah. Or yeah. The, is that the right term? Or yeah. The, the author. author. Yeah. The mangaka. Okay. Author. The mangaka. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's really interesting what he told you, uh, especially because like the first season was sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the second season is just like all about farming for yeah. some yeah. reason. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you're like, what the it's fuck? about farming. It's more. <laughs> but it's, it's the not. majority of them. Yeah. But it's not about just farming. What's actually really interesting about that is <laughs> in that in, in the second season, mm -hmm. there are very clear uh, class dynamics at play, mm -hmm. like yeah. class in the Marxian sense. Yeah. Where the uh, indentured serv uh, the indentured servants, mm -hmm. the slaves, mm -hmm. right? Um, are are undermined by the peasants. Yeah, yeah. Even right. though the owner of the farm is very nice to the slaves in comparison to how mean he could be technically, mm. and this might change, uh, but this is as far as I've seen so far in the second season, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't read it, uh, so I don't know. But um, there there's a moment where uh, you know Thorfinn is talking to the other slave, and the other slave is like. These peasants, they're they're bullying us, but they don't realize that like they're in the same position. They own no land. Yeah. But mm. the reason why they're doing this to us, the reason why they're like stealing our food or undermining us or not giving us horses and whatnot, mm. is because it makes them feel like they have some kind of lordship over us. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that is at the heart of literal like um that's the that's the class position that many people have. Uh it's very important in like the civil rights movement in America, it's very important in like uh, you know, uh, the, the reconstruction era politics in mm. America in the aftermath of the abolition of slavery yeah. where like, uh, you know, newly free, uh, newly freed uh, black people um, started recognizing that they had exactly the same class position as the laymen, the people that were wage slaves. Right. 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 Mm. Um, and and um, that <laughs> that wage slaves. Yeah. Oh. Wage slavery <laughs> is like what it's considered, I yeah. think, like originally in the Republican Party uh, in America, which is now a very different Republican Party, started off with uh, wanting to abolish slavery, mm -hmm. um, you know, chattel slavery in the south and <laughs> wage slavery in the north. Like that was their credo. Mm. Right. Um, so. Uh, but I've basically, never heard that term no, I mean, so, I've only ever heard that online. People do, saying derogatory towards people who just work normal jobs. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I mean, you it's at just, McDonald's, you're yeah. a wage slave. Well, yeah, they, they <laughs> yeah. use it as a as a, a derogatory term, but um, but yeah, that's it's that's at the heart of like class politics. Mm, so mm, mm. there's no way that dude wrote that on accident. No, no, I, I for sure <laughs> but into that. I mean, Vinland yeah. Saga is very. I and mean, it tries to keep very anime, but does. Go ahead, tell me it's not political. No, it's extremely <laughs> it's super political. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, okay. So when you say it's political, do you think there is a, do you think it's just exploring political ideas or do you think there's a, are you saying that there's an agenda that he's trying to like portray in this story? I don't think it's nefarious. I think that people have worldviews yeah. that mm -hmm. they inevitably bake into their art. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think like his worldview from what you've told me, especially like he's like a pacifist humanitarian. Yeah, yeah. Guy. I mean, um, he, uh, I mean, for once I actually have a source because I talk to the fuck. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. the fuck yeah. I did not, I am not making this a fuck up. Yeah. But no, he, uh, he said the reason he wanted to make Vinland Saga is that he wanted, he thought it one, he thought it was an interesting, interesting idea for a story mm. to Agreed. have a story about violence and promoting how you know bad war and violence is, mm. uh, and setting that in the Viking era. Why did he make it so cool? Um, <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Is that, that the, it, season one is so badass? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. And then season two feels like such a departure. Yeah, yeah. In the sense of like, when is that gonna happen? Yeah. Yes. Every time I see that log throwing guy, what's the big one? Uh, Thor Kel. Yeah. 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 Every time oh, I see him, chat. I'm like, oh, thank God. All right, yeah. let's get, get let's get some violence in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and like he was, he he told me that he was very very worried going into like part two, uh, because t in order to establish the you know, this message, he needed to establish a world where it was violence was glorified. And then what he wanted to do was establish his world of glorified violence and kind of break down why, you know, why that's bad and why mm. we should see another angle to that. And right. uh, one of his biggest worries is that he did a bit of, a bit too good of a job with that because yeah. everyone, uh, because everyone really, really loved the first part. Yeah. The message and definitely went over a lot of people's heads. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought the message was like, violence is sick. <laughs> that's what I thought. I thought the message Vikings was violence is okay if you're Welsh. That's yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. As long as you're a Viking, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you love that. It's like the best Welsh representation yeah. ever. He's the only representation we got in life. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So sick. You know, you know what he called. You know what he called Ascalad. 
He said cute, right? He said cute. Yeah, he, he said uh, he said he said Askeladd was my favorite character, even though it was like very hard for him to pick. Yeah. And I was like, oh, why'd you like Askeladd? And he was like, oh, kawaii. <laughs> and I was like, what? I mean, what? he is cute. <laughs> He's a cute motherfucker. He is. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like I, I asked him, where did you get your inspiration for your story? Are you trying to say anything? You know, are you trying to, how did you get the ideas for what you wanted to portray in mm. his story? Um, and he basically just said, I just, I sometimes I just have thoughts and ideas and emotions that I want to convey through the story. And I find mm. the best way uh, with characters and with the world to basically convey my thoughts and emotions. And so I don't know how deeply he thinks into the political ideas, but I think at the core, he has these emotions um, that he wants to put on the page. And so yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah. finds the best way to get the moving parts to like, portray that. I don't even think he's like ideologically Marxist or anything like that. I just, uh, I think it's like very human to recognize that injustice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it totally still makes sense. But I mean, yeah. it's at the heart of that kind mm. of politics. Right, yeah. yeah, I think I think talking to him, he is a very human, like at a core, he tries to tell very human stories and he tries to put that in everything he does. Well, I would argue that's what makes some of the best stories in manga and anime, right? Mm -hmm. It's like when you're trying to show that like very human side of like, you know, through emotions and, you know, uh, physical violence and stuff like that. It's yeah. like, oh, okay. It's not just like a bunch of people killing each other. There's like yeah. some message there. And, you know, depending on who you ask, you know, they get the message more than others. Obviously Hassan has like fucking nailed it. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. 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 But like, I think it's, I think some of the best authors, uh, especially in the manga world, are able to kind of, you know, tr try and show both sides of it where it's like, you can think of it as shallowly as possible or as deeply as possible yeah. and it's still just as enjoyable. That's why I want more historical manga and anime. I feel mm. like- It's hard though. Because I know it's hard, but it's so cool when they do it. The amount of research that he has to go through oh, just to write like yeah. a single chapter is fucking insane. Yeah. Like, he has he has to do so much research because what, what uh, how, how many, how many, how much Viking media did we get here in Japan? Like, <laughs> like nothing. Like that's nothing. What's, that's what's fascinating about it because it's like such a unique time period. Uh, like Dane Law and the invasion of like England mm. is is so cool. And there's a lot of content in the Western world. Yeah, but it it pairs very nicely with like the Last Kingdom and mm. and other kinds of like Western live action like docu-dramas, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like fictionalized depictions yeah. of what happened. So it, it works really well with that. Yeah, and uh, I think I think what's most impressive is that he's done his research and he's taken like real historical accounts, like, yeah. you know, Thor, Thor Kell, um, Thorfinn, they were all like real, I, actually, I don't know if Thor's was a real character, but Thor, uh, Thorfinn was definitely a real person in history, mm, right? Yeah. And so you, he takes these accounts of real things that happen in histories uh, and he's kind of like filled in the blanks with his own imagination. Well, even, his, even Thorfinn's granddad, or I guess, is technically is that his grandfather? Like the guy who went to oh leave the Erickson? west, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's real like, person, yeah, real yeah. person, yeah, yeah. The first person who like actually found well found yeah. America, yeah, the, the mm. continent. Didn't know that, yeah, yeah. 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 Un un uncredited. <laughs> yeah. Uncredited. Oh, I was just yeah. watching the anime and loving every second. Of it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, yeah, it's good. If you want to get spoilers, <laughs> just read the Wikipedia page oh, of history. Yeah. Yeah. Leave Erickson. Well, yeah. I, I, I read all the manga. Well, up to where I was at the time. So yeah, Wikipedia yeah. is like the extended edition of the manga. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. That's the, extra law. That's yeah. the light novel. That's yeah. what I like. That's what I love about historical shows is that if you want more, you can just go to Wikipedia. Like you can you can look in and around of where they tell the story. True, true. Kind of be like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't want to wait for the manga to come out. I'm just gonna read the Wikipedia <laughs> yeah, yeah. page. And then, and then you realize why they stopped at a certain point because it just the stories often just go downhill because history can't always be interesting. Yeah, true. And or the person's weird. Yeah. It turns yeah. out they become really strange yeah. or do weird fucked up stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know, sometimes they still take weird characters like in Jojo and uh, present them in a shining light. <laughs> go on, go on, you can say it. What? what the, it, it, well, the Nazi. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, that okay. One, okay, that was like, I was not expecting that when I was watching. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm like, wow, this like new anime I got into is like so sick. I'm like burning through the episodes and then bam. I'm like, what? Did I just see a swastika? What the fuck? <laughs> but, and then and then I'm like, okay, like this is clearly a villain, right? And then and then at the end it's like, oh no, he's like a good guy. <laughs> and you think like, oh, he's gonna like be a Nazi killer, right? And then he's like, no, he died in Germany in World War II. Fighting <laughs> fighting for the Nazis. Yeah. I, I, like they put that in there. I was like, I, I think I wiped that from my mind. Yeah, I completely yeah. forgot about that. Actually. That's like <laughs> such an insane thing that they put in there that 
you just don't have to put in, but <laughs> they did it anyway. And I was like, wow, well, this is, this is untainted by Western liberal hegemonic <laughs> attitudes. I'll tell you that. Okay, wait, wait I got to ask that. You, have you finished part six? No. Oh, okay. I, asked you, I wanted them to get to it oh, too. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message you when you finish part six, because there is a point in part six where they tackle the uh, topic of racism in America. <laughs> oh, I love that. that. Oh, it's my favorite. Yeah, it comes out of nowhere. Nowhere. You'll get yeah, such a kick yeah. out of that part. Oh. And I, I, I want to hear your takes on that. Oh, that's so sick. I it's, love that yeah, it's shit. Near the, it's near the end of part six. So yeah, we'll, we'll continue this conversation. I then. love, yeah, I love when like, you know, Japanese people are like, yeah, let's let's cover American racism. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like out of nowhere, like what? <laughs> no, I'm I'm fascinated by like the perspective of someone that's like super far removed from yeah. mm. you know like the actual history or or the culture. Like, there's not it's not like there's a lot of black people in Japan. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. I grew up in mm. Turkey. Not a lot of like uh, Afro Turks in Turkey. That's not like a real thing. It's like very marginal, very small mm, amount. Yeah. So, uh, you know. I was fascinated by by black culture in America, so I, I kind of get how that works uh, on this part of the world because, like, a lot of American culture is black culture for the most part. It's yeah. just like so uh, a lot of the popular depictions of American culture is literally uh, usually black culture. That's true, yeah. yeah. Um, and and so I I love I love seeing other people also go through that. Speaking of uh, black culture and anime, actually. One of the reason why one of the reason why I love sh Samurai Champloo is because yeah. like mm. it kind of merges like oh yeah rap it's, cool. it's so yeah I, hip hop stuff it's, right? yeah. it's like it's so weird that you know before Samurai Champloo you know you, the idea of merging samurais with hip hop was just so out of left field yeah. and now it just like it's like the perfect glove that fits yeah, you know? yeah. It's just like how was how did no one think of so this before well as well yeah why yeah. does it work so well I still have no idea there were some other ones does. too have you guys ever seen Afro Samurai yeah, yeah oh I've hell yeah that's, that's Samuel Jackson yeah, Samuel baby. Jackson Let's go. that's sick I would even yeah. go so far as say like Boondocks is also like weirdly drawn exactly in the anime style <laughs> I don't know yeah. why but like it's one of my favorite. I wouldn't say animes, I guess. I don't know. I don't it's know like, what it would it's, be. It's, yeah, it's, it's like anime inspired cartoon. Yeah. I, mean, yes. I, like, I think one of the co-creators, LaShawn Thomas, is like, a, he's a huge anime yeah. fan. Yeah. To the point where he's made some some of his own original anime yeah. Yeah. as well. So it's no surprise that it was probably heavily yeah. inspired mm. by Yeah, no, anime. it's it's that that I, I love because like I when I was in Turkey, I was like watching the shit out of that. I love Aaron Magruder. He's brilliant, really, really clever. Um and you know, so there is this like very cool merger of two cultures uh, yeah. in that respect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like like as like you said, a lot of there's a lot of fascination with you know the Western world and especially the American culture here in Japan. Mm. And you know, oh, it, I've seen it. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. It's not even in anime, man. It's just everyday yeah. Japan yeah. life. But I'm like that too. I'm a Amerabu. So like a Maribu. Yeah. So like that's what that that's what I was. I think, I think they're called with. Westaboos. I yeah. Or Westaboos. Yeah. 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 The British one's called Tiabu. Tiabu. Yeah. 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 Who the fuck is booing uh, the British culture? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? There are you, so you, many I'm Americans. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Were you not online ten years yeah. ago? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Were you not around during like the British vlogger yeah. invasion? Yeah. The British vlogger invasion. Yeah. yeah. Wait, like literally just ten years ago on the internet, being British was like the coolest thing ever. Okay. Right. Let's. I got on it. Let's I guess I erased that from my memory because, like, yeah. thank God. <laughs> I, I, oh I'm my. with you. Let's oh forget my about God. the Tuesday era for a second. Yeah. No, there was there was like there was an era of British uh, culture where every American thought he was cool. You know, because because yeah. of mostly because of like Harry Potter. Actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> back back when that was. Yeah, like, no, Americans like America. a good chunk of Americans still think like that's England is Hogwarts. Yeah, <laughs> like they think it's real. You know, what I mean? yeah, like yeah, it's just an entire it's like, country. Don't ruin my fantasy. I mean, a lot yeah. of Japanese people think that way as well. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh no, I've been to Harajuku. I know, I know what Japanese people think America looks like right now. It's <laughs> yeah. like they they were trying to sell me like Yankee sweaters and shit. I'm like, no, man, I'm good. <laughs> oh.